around the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 remember the three pillars we are trying to build a strategy and or a system we are trying to understand how risk management works and we are trying to understand how psychology works our psychology right trader psychology inside the risk management and inside our strategy and our system hello my friend how are you hello miguel como estas tudo bem tudo bem <laughs> tudo bem tudo bem remember everybody 90 percent of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and especially starting from today we are going to trade so we are entering in the forex trading week okay and remember these webinars are not trading and or investment advice they are for educational purposes only and for questions and homeworks you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my linkedin contact hello Amy, how are you so what we're going to do today everybody we are going to prepare it's friday in some parts of the world is already monday tuesday friday saturday okay but also half of the world it's still friday so what we're going to do we are going to prepare uh for the coming uh, coming week and remember i have a 20 seconds delay on the chat okay we are going we are going to at least we're going to try to cover all the currency pairs and let's start with AUDCAD right so we are going to see and I'm going to delete this one so this is how your chart everybody should look like you should have pivot points on your chart you should have this is the monthly chart AUDCAD monthly chart you should have your pivot points on the chart you should have oh i'm going to delete the indicators we are not there yet and you should have the fibonacci's on your chart and the market wave right and the pivot point support resistance levels uh, and everything else right now this is the monthly chart what is the market doing long term well the market is down right so long term long term we are down why long term because each and every candle is a month so long term this market is down right and let's see what's happening let's dive into the chart i'm going to delete a few things so this is the fibonacci of the confirmation and what we are missing we are missing the trend lines the first is here let's make it like this and let's see some other down trend lines down trend line this is the long term this is the medium term this is the short term and we have also the aggressive ones right and this is the aggressive one in here so this market is supposed to fall but the market is going up right the market is going up so nothing to do from the monthly chart i wouldn't go up everybody but this is my style right you can have your style of course you can reject what I'm saying, you can accept. I wouldn't go long in here because we are still below the downtrend line. And the market, if it's going to go up, it's going to incur resistance. So let's prepare for next week. I want to short AUD CAD. Okay, so I'm going to check on the weekly chart weekly chart I'm going to check the reasons to go short projected the extension is here let me check so we have to delete delete 
we have two Fibonacci. The one is the Fibonacci of the confirmation, and the second one is the projected the extension. So we have a confirmed C from the original Fibonacci, but we don't have a confirmed C from the Fibonacci of the confirmation, right? And I let's say we have a small tiny contrarian Fibonacci in here and let's change the colors so in the forex trading week we are trying to implement what we have learned so far into trading right we're going to use the Fibonacci's now I don't have it okay I'm going to put the other one and change colors so where is to go here and change colors so what's going to be blue right red orange what white 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 and blue and orange and white there you go, this is going to be the contrarian contrarian Fibonacci there you go not sure if the market hit the... no, it didn't hit the orange so we are still up <coughs> this is the small Fibonacci and what else can we see? maybe this market is locked in some kind of sideways movement let's color code this like this big you know and clone right and this would be the channel so we want to short the market this is the weekly chart let's move on the daily i'm going to delete the indicators delete 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 and delete Come on. Okay, sometimes the platform freezes. And let's see where are we. So we have the A, B, C, D. We have a confer. Oh, we have a new Fibonacci. Blue goes to blue, right? So we have a new Fibonacci. A new down Fibonacci edit levels original one and let's make it like this blue goes to blue the market hit <coughs> the level so a goes to c a goes to c and b goes to d right so this is the b let's delete this one <coughs> And we have the weekly D extension and the monthly D extension on the chart. <coughs> now we said that we have just maybe we are locked inside this sideways movement. Let's make it bigger, something like this, clone, and the lower band is going to be something like this. <clears throat> now, okay, so we can short the market. We can short the market. Stop loss is going to be at where is the stop loss? Let's make it the stop loss is going to be at 0 0.915556. This is going to be our stop loss. Okay, so this is our stop loss and our take profit, of course, is going to be down here. So Sunday night, Monday morning, depending on where you live, where situated, you can enter or you can enter even right now because there is bearish pressure, you know. We didn't learn yet, but we have also the pattern here which is a different story 
okay but still this is the trade for today maybe Monday Sunday night right the market broke already the aggressive uptrend line the market broke the aggressive uptrend line and we have bearish candlestick formations right so what we're going to do I'm going to enter right now okay remember these webinars are not <coughs> trading or investment advice you need to do your homework but I'm going to enter right now and what I'm going to do I'm going to put a stop reverse order on my stop loss okay so stop loss 24 stop loss with a stop reverse stop reverse order so this is my area and okay wait let me check amount I don't want units I want lots okay I'm going to enter this entry what sell market stop loss is going to be I'm going to ask where is the chart chart is here I'm going to ask not points from price price and I'm going to ask what was it? What was the price? Zero point zero point nine one zero point nine one five five six zero point nine one five five six and take profit. I'm going to ask zero. Point zero point eight nine hundred. Okay. Submit. Submit order. There you go. And I'm going also put a buy stop order. So entry. Where are the? Not the entry, but sell buy. buy and I'm going to ask buy stop at zero point what did we say nine one five zero zero okay submit orders so let's check the chart let's check the chart how it's going to be okay There you go. So if I'm right, I'm going to earn what? Twelve dollars. One hundred seventy pips. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to earn eighty. So it's a it's a nice risk reward ratio. Okay. Everybody, why should you use a stop reverse order in here? Why should you use a stop reverse order? What do you think? Why if why, why if I'm wrong, I should cancel my sell, take a loss, as a good student, take a loss, and to reverse my position and go long. What do you think? And I didn't draw right. I'm what I'm missing. I'm missing the contrarian Fibonacci. Contrarian Fibonacci. Let's change colors. There you go. Still goes to the white up in there. And let's delete. Okay, everybody. Any questions from the for the coming week? What we're going to do on AUDCAD? Are we clear? Do you have any other idea? Do you agree? Don't you agree? And if you don't understand or you are not comfortable, just stay out. AUDCAD is not the easiest pair to trade. Okay, no questions, great. Let's move on to the next one. I'm not familiar with the stop reverse order, no problem. So. Let's open the next one, ABCHF.
Stop reverse order, Miguel, means just this. If you know that you are wrong, right? The market. Okay, are we back? Yes, sir, we are back. We are back. There you go. Sound back, right? Is the sound back? Can you confirm, please? Miguel Reni or anybody else? Is the sound back? Man, we are going to the moon, right? And to Mars. But we cannot adjust the... <laughs> technology part of the sound and the microphone <laughs> said everything okay there you go I was explaining everybody that we went long on this position trade when the market was near the lower band and hello Victor okay now okay thank you and, and we know that the market in order to wave it must make a high right and where is going to make a high most likely is going to make a high at some level of resistance so the first level of resistance is here the market already hit resistance so we went along and we are closing our long positions today okay so next week what do you want is going to be short term Next, next week short term we are going to short the market okay it's going to be riskier because the long term bias is up right I'm going to delete this and this the projection what is the projection projection is that this market is here is doing this and this and then it's supposed to go up if nothing go is going to change fundamentally but because the market must make a high in order to wave right and it's hitting resistance right now maybe it's going to and this is the monthly chart everybody remember this is going to be a monthly candle it's bearish so we can project 90 to 95 percent a retracement right so let's see if we can short the market on the weekly, daily. I'm going to delete this, delete, delete all. Don't do this, everybody. This is from some webinars. Too much stuff on the chart. You are not going anywhere. Okay, delete, 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 and delete, and delete. Okay. So what do we have here? We have an original up Fibonacci which is here and the market of course it's supposed to go up long term A, there you go this is the A, the B the C, green goes to green and what else can we do? well we can draw a uptrend line uptrend line and we want to short the market 
but let's see if we can short the market right now from the weekly chart we cannot short because we are still in an uptrend short term the market is making higher highs higher lows All right something like this and it's forming a bearish candle on the on the weekly chart and also on the monthly chart right now I'm expecting a retracement right and also I'm expecting that after the retracement the market's going to break and push further up long term so I'm going to draw a horizontal line I'm going to expect also a sideways movement right as good beginner traders we need to prepare for everything and anything and let's try to short the market inside those two bands and again Miguel I know that maybe it's difficult but I need to put a stop reverse order up in here not just a stop loss but if the market is going to hit my stop loss I need to change and reverse my position why is that because the original Fibonacci is still in place the original Fibonacci is still in place on the weekly chart right and like this and what else what am I, I missing the Fibonacci the contrarian so as you can see everybody the, we don't have a confirmed C and I need to adjust the Fibonacci I don't have the contrarian removed but okay no problem as you can see the the extension of the contrarian Fibonacci is still inside the boundary so this is the passion I don't see yes sir just give me a second delete 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 okay this is the chart so far better okay this is the weekly chart and like this there you go you have an up Fibonacci which is a structural part of the so-called position trade we have a down Fibonacci a contrarian where the C is not confirmed the Rel the appropriate extension is still inside the AB boundary the market is making bearish candlestick formation uh, it's going to close weekly maybe not monthly because we need to wait for a month but it's going to close we weekly most likely bearish and it's closing bearish at past resistance so short term I want to short the market because all of the reasons that I just said to you I told you but long term I know that the market is going to find some support and push up right so I'm going to enter if I'm going to enter short I'm going to use this stop reverse if the market is going to stop me out with my short trade then it's going to take me automatically at my stop loss and buy the market to go to the weekly the extension and when you understand the risk and when you follow the risk reward rules everybody you can have a loser and still end with money in your pocket right risk reward risk reward risk reward and if you are skilled enough you can win both you can win you can win the short trade if the market is going to fall of course and you can win the long trade you can win both sides right okay and in the end the market can do anything it wants when it wants right you can also lose both if the market does this right but you need to control your trade so if you are going to lose one two percent whatever you know so what you have 98 percent more you know you have 98 trades to do if you want okay everybody any questions on AUDCHF so we are trying to short I mean we shorted AUDCAD 
we are going to short AUDC HF and let I don't have the Fibonacci's here not yet so Fibonacci retracement there we go this is the original one original one let's delete 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 all the mess delete the indicators right and what else can we do we can draw the uptrend line draw the contrarian Fibonacci now I'm not sure let me check the numbers what is the low 6774 67744 lower 5846 Four 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 zero four four five. Okay, so yes, this is a low. So this is the first contrarian, and <clears throat> the next contrarian is down here. Let's delete this and change colors. So let's see how does this look like. We don't have a confirmed C everybody as you can see and what else can we do? We can draw a Fibonacci of the confirmation, right? Sometimes the A and the B are the same candle but not in this example, okay? And as you can see the market hit our the extension from the Fibonacci of the confirmation, we have a new and see everybody the market hit the D extension of the Fibonacci of the confirmation and when the market hits the D extension of some kind it's game over new game is going to start right so we have a lot of reasons to expect the market to fall right and now can you see also how the Fibonacci works if you trade with the Fibonacci's right of course you need to apply what you know counter trendline break right another counter trendline this was a nice trade I mean I didn't trade the Fibonacci's I traded the position but this in here this was a nice entry this was a nice entry the market broke the counter trendline and this is the daily chart, it's tradable. We were here and the market broke this counter trend line. And maybe not with the first candle because it's bearish, but the third candle is bullish. So this was a nice trade and a nice profit, right? Risk reward ratio, look at this. If we entered here, maybe, right? This was the this was the risk and this was the reward up in here of course what we have learned we cannot enter from the daily chart but we could enter from the 4 hour chart, 2 hour chart to lower right we learned about the rules how to trade the 3 Fibonacci's so if you would put a stop loss here down here from the 1 2 hour chart still this was a nice trade nice risk reward ratio or if you would just enter with the counter trend and break this would be your risk and this would be your reward now from the daily chart not the best but still one to two one to two and a half, one and a half. okay so we are going to short the market and when let me check this is the when the market so this is the plan for the next week you can enter right now because of the bearish candlestick formation but when the market and if the market is going to break this aggressive downtrend line I'm going to enter short 
going to enter short and I'm going to put a stop reverse order above this high okay this is going to be not the exact number but 10 pips above right so and if this is going to be my risk I'm going to cancel and replace this is going to be my risk I'm going to cancel and replace my trade as much as it goes right and if for some reason the market takes me out and continue its way up then I need to, I'm going to have a losing trade which is okay but I'm going to enter with the buy, buy order and taking a ride up to the the extension okay so this is the plan for AUD CAD this is the plan for AUD CHF any questions so far? Oh, passion is difficult. No, it's not. We are just the forex trading weeks. If you are go, if you are going to, if you will go to the Dukascopy YouTube channel, webinar channel, you are going to see that we had always, we always had the forex trading weeks. We are not teaching you anything else, but we are trying to implement what we have learned so far. And this, starting from Monday and today is not day number one we are going to trade we are trying to find trading opportunities using what we have learned so far and the last knowledge was the Fibonacci the original Fibonacci the contrarian Fibonacci and the Fibonacci of the confirmation now questions great let's move on the next one let me see AUD NZD another one great AUD NZD was a buy it's not directly it's not moving exactly in the same way as AUD CHF many times they are going in the opposite direction oh my god I need to clean up the charts oh my god clean up or remove all monthly still ok but and we have a Fibonacci on this chart oh we talked about right Miguel this market is a mess it's sideways most of the time right so what do we have here we have a confirmed C right and let's draw a Fibonacci of the confirmation so it must go up in here right green goes to green the projected it's a projection everybody projected the extension projected the extension is up to here delete this delete delete right okay this time this pair is risky if you ask me because we don't have much space to go to the downtrend line okay we don't have much space and the market is constantly going to hit resistance 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 and it didn't make a high not yet so I wouldn't go long in here I would go short but still the market is not showing us anything not on the month let's go to maybe the weekly let's check the weekly I need to clean up the charts oh my god what what is this okay I'm going to ask the developers of JForex to put up a button to close and erase everything to clean up the chart so delete 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 everything so okay there you go those Fibonacci's don't work don't bother with this don't bother with the down Fibonacci is never going to happen and don't bother with this Fibonacci is never going to happen most likely sideways movement sideways channel right so A B C 
see let's see what is happening let's draw Fibonacci remember everybody Fibonacci don't work in a sideways movement so okay until the market breaks out they don't work so we are from the let me check the blue was not hit so we are this is the remaining part of the original Fibonacci okay so it's supposed to go up but also is hitting resistance in here okay so for the coming week this is FX Passion's opinion AUD NZD not tradable AUD NZD AUD NZD stay out not tradable but of course this is my opinion if you see something else no problem okay not tradable it's full of risk at least for me MHB my friend I'm sorry I didn't manage to give you the answer on Skype I'm sorry my friend I'm going to try to give you an answer until Monday okay okay MHB I'm sorry I, I should I should I should send you the message yesterday okay I didn't manage to but I'm going to do it until Monday okay MHB but you should do your part also okay try to do as much as possible so ABC is here stay out not tradable it's full of risk small space to go up a lot of space to go down but no indication that is going down hello boss okay boss I'm sorry man I'm really sorry I said I'm going to send it yesterday I no time no time it's crazy no time okay let's move on to the next one open AUD USD AUD USD it was a nice trading pair for the, this week you are not sorry I am I am sorry AUD USD monthly chart okay everybody we are long and we want to go long this is a no-brainer for the oops for the for next week the market broke this is a no-brainer really the market broke the aggressive downtrend line it tried to push down two times one time before triple bottom whatever double bottom but the most important thing it pushed it it closed above this aggressive downtrend line so we are long next week we're trying to buy 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 and of course the market is going to we don't know this is a projection the market can hit the first resistance and the reverse the market can hit the second resistance and the reverse the market can hit the third resistance and the reverse in the meantime the news announcement are going to play it, its role its role right the FOMC meetings the news out from Australia the non-farm payroll and everything is going to show us when is the time to go short again until then we are long on this pair okay until here this is the maximum level if it's going to break this then we are going to change structure we are still in a structural downtrend extension retracement extension we are still in a structural downtrend okay now we want to go long this is the monthly chart let's go on the weekly we have a down Fibonacci of course ABCD we don't have a confirmed C but we have the Fibonacci of the confirmation there you go the market broke the aggressive downtrend line 
Okay, so this is the weekly chart. Maybe not on the weekly, but on the daily, you are going to have a contrarian Fibonacci on your Fibonacci of the confirmation. So this is the contrarian Fibonacci. It must make a high first. It's not a high yet, it doesn't have two on the right, but it's going to form. It's going to form a high here. So let's talk about time. I don't know, maybe in two two weeks, but if it isn't going to move until 15, 16 of December, then we are going to wait until January the 12th, 13 of January maybe for this market to push up. So you are going to notice everybody that price movement is going to slow down every week is going to be slower and slower and slower okay so this is the weekly chart let's check the daily chart the daily chart there you go so this was the counter trend line break and counter trend and break there you go okay so we're going to enter with the counter trend and break and take a right to the daily the extension and as you can see everybody this is the contrarian all the original Fibonacci's are down so this is the contrarian, remove, remove, okay, edit levels, default, let's remove and remove, okay. So we are going to go long on this, right? Or where should we go short? right where should we go short everybody we are going to go long next week if the market stays right if the market stays above the downtrend line and if the market is going to continually making higher highs higher lows if for any reasons the market is going to do a higher high higher low higher high but then if for any reasons the market is going to do a lower low then we are going to reverse our positions and go short again but this is speculation right trade what you see the market did break the aggressive downtrend line the market break did the aggressive downtrend line if you want to be more sure don't trade right because the market can do anything it wants when it wants right especially if this is the weekly at Fibonacci the market can retrace to some level and push back up higher so the next confirmation of a downtrend is going to be when the market breaks this level until then bulls and bears are fighting for control the bulls broke the downtrend line the bears want to push lower and are going inside I mean below this downtrend line but still it's making higher highs higher lows so if you want to have another, another confirmation the market must break this area here it should be trend line from down it is, it is from down it is from down ok everybody so you can see not all pairs are equal and not all pairs are tradable and not all pairs have the same technical risk so you have AUD CAD, AUD CHF AUD NZD AUD USD one more right did we check AUD JPY? I think we didn't. And remember, the 
these webinars are not trading or investment advice. What's the time? 10 more minutes, great. Monthly chart first. Okay, let's delete this. What? I'm in trade. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't know. <coughs> okay, we have a down ABCD and we have down Fibonacci of the confirmation and the market is retracing. So, as you can see, everybody, the bias, the sentiment, you are going to hear a lot about sentiment, sentiment, sentiment. Sentiment for the AUD pairs is down. Short term. Okay, short term sentiment is down. Right? So we want to short the market. Why is that? Because the market's making higher highs, I mean lower lows, lower highs. And the market already retraced. Now, every pair has its specifics. Maybe this pair is locked inside this sideways channel. Right? I don't know, I don't have the crystal ball, but I need to be prepared. Right? So even the even if the short opportunity comes and I'm I would be stopped out, I need to be prepared that the market just maybe right is locked. So we are what we can see we have a 75% confirmed sideways channel. At the same point, two lows and one more, one point, it's up in here, right? So this market is not tradable up. We shouldn't go long, in my opinion, because we are in the middle of the range of the sideways movement, okay? You can go long on the smaller time frames, but it's going to be riskier. So, uh, let's see, let's see. Talk is easy, right? Oh, now I remember this was a class with different stop loss, right? It was Miguel, Akos and Victor, right? Remember the class, everybody? We talked about the stop loss and we said, well, the best stop loss is Miguel's, next was Victor's and the third was Akos' stop loss. I was I didn't remember right so what is this stop loss so Akos has a different the I don't know if this was the trade or it went down already oh it went no it didn't because this is the weekly chart we entered maybe on the daily right see everybody it's a tight stop loss, but Akos is risking for the market to stop him out. Here is Ak this is Akos stop loss. The let's change. I cannot change the second orange is Victor's and the third is Miguel's. See everybody how different stop loss levels are going to increase your probability of success. <laughs> you are happy, Victor, huh? Happy, Victor. Yes, I was right, you know. There is no right or wrong. It's about just about probabilities. ADJPY, this is from the class. We are going to cancel from, oh, there you go. Remember this picture, everybody? Remember this picture? We talked about how to bring together market structure, the market wave and the Fibonacci and the stop loss. Remember everybody? So, okay, let's, there you go. This is on the two hour, okay, you are going to delete. Just delete. So this is the weekly chart. Let's move on the daily. Where is the daily? Daily chart. Let's see what is happening. 
we're going to de delete the indicators this from the class nice okay this is the daily chart so we want to go short right and the aggressive uptrend line is going to be here the aggressive counter trend line and let me check like this transparency there you go okay everybody so we have a down Fibonacci original one we have a down Fibonacci sub A sub B right this is from the lesson let's delete everything Okay, I'm not going to delete everything. I don't have to. Yes, Victor is smiling. Happy Victor! Right? So what we are going to do, or at least me, everybody, for, for the coming week, when the market breaks this trend line, aggressive counter trend line, and it makes a lower low, then I'm going to draw a contrarian Fibonacci like this on the on my oh no it's going to be the Fibonacci of the confirmation sorry I'm going to draw Fibonacci of the confirmation and I'm going to trade it okay and again I'm going to put my stop reverse order not above the candlestick formation but above the A of the Fibonacci because Eurocat okay, bye bye, Eurocat okay, bye bye because as we said maybe right J, maybe just maybe we are in the sideways channel so I'm going to short the market in here but I'm going to have a stop reverse order if the market hits my stop I'm going to enter long trying to capture this movement until the if we are yes if we are in a sideways movement the market is going to confirm this until now we are 75 percent confirmation so the market or is going to fall or is going to push up right i want to go down because the of the fibonacci and everything but maybe i'm wrong and the market is going to push higher time to shine why is that fibonacci of confirmation and not contrarian because on the daily chart if you compress the chart the original Fibonacci is down see time to shine the original Fibonacci from the daily chart is down so when the original Fibonacci is down the contrarian Fibonacci is up right and the uh, Fibonacci of the confirmation is down and the contrarian Fibonacci is up and when I'm going to trade the Fibonacci of the confirmation on the Fibonacci of the confirmation is going to be down okay everybody happy friday go relax you back on monday on monday we're going to check other currency pairs and we are going to look for trading opportunities we're going to enter next week we are going to trade okay we're going to implement what we have learned with the fibonacci's in trading we're going to try to make some money okay and remember these webinars are not trading and or investment advice you need to do your homework you are responsible for yourself okay until monday stay strong and relax with passion got it <laughs> this is fx passion signing off